think this might be the oldest picture. What was left in a pink bag inside of a trunk of a car in Tempe lies memories dating back to 1913. Most of them are either wedding photos or Holy Communion photos. I guess this is what a typical phone book would have looked like back then. <laughs> Tonight, Valley resident Elizabeth Dysinger is on a mission to find the family who these items may belong to. These are written to Anna Kowalczyk in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The years range from late 40s to the 70s. These letters are postmarked from Poland. The letter is basically from her niece and nephew asking for help after the war. They were in dire straits and um, they, their home was bombed and burnt down to the ground. It hits a little bit closer to home for Elizabeth, who was actually born and raised in Poland. She translated what one letter said. So what she's saying is this would be a huge help for us if you can help us because it takes many, many months to be able to buy an article of clothing. Also in the bag was a newspaper article dated to 1973. It says Minneapolis couple Joseph and Anne were killed in a head-on collision. Elizabeth believes that's the Anne the letters were written to. There is also a printout of an obituary for Julia Anna, who has the same last name. It shows she died in Payson at 94 years old only two years ago. The paper says she has six kids, 18 grandchildren, and even great-grandchildren. That's... I think a military uniform. While Elizabeth doesn't know where in the world family members could be, she is hopeful someone will recognize these faces. Well, it's a huge piece of history and to be able to hold photos of your loved ones and, and your family and letters that they wrote during such a horrible time like the war, I think that would be so important to somebody, you know, it's, it's your memories, it's your family, it's something that's eternal. Now, Elizabeth says that they have tried to track down the person who donated the car. She says it was a 2005 Mercedes, but she hasn't had any luck. So, Jamie, hopefully we'll be able to help her find the right people. Yeah, hope this story goes viral and we find yes. them. Thank you, Holly. <laughs>